They don't need a reason to turn into a demon. Hey, we got law and crime. We got a Kentucky woman accused of executing her kids to try to save her own life. I don't know how the fuck that makes sense, but she killed her kids to save herself. However that works. A mom accused of shooting her own sons inside of her Kentucky home could be offered a plea deal. We're going to break down. And they, and they, and they going to give it a plea deal, bro. Details in the Tiffany Lucas case. Welcome to Sidebar. Present she looked like a little evil weirdo. By Law and Crime, I'm Jesse Weber. We have been closely following the case of Tiffany Lucas as it makes its way through the court system in Kentucky. And now we have learned that a plea deal could possibly be on the table. She lied. She be on drugs, bro. Absolutely horrific case. The 32-year-old woman, Miss Lucas, is accused of shooting her two sons, six-year-old Maurice Baker Jr. and nine-year-old Jaden Howard, to death inside of their Bullitt County home. Talking about it's to save my. This last. That's just some shit you put together, bro. Because you was on some shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. This bitch be. What these niggas probably doing drugs and shit talking about save my life, bro. And shot both these babies. Little young guys babies, bro. November. And you know what makes this just so incredibly eerie and chilling? Is that just days before this, Lucas had seemingly posted photos of herself and the half-brothers in Star Wars costumes for Halloween, smiling, none the wiser. But on the day in question, First responders found Lucas outside in the driveway. That's the allegation. The two boys were found in a bedroom, both shot in the head. They were rushed to a children's hospital. Oh my hospital goodness. Lucas allegedly like literally, bro. And she's getting a plea deal, bro. This bitch needs to be shot in her fucking head, bro. She told police that the like, shooting what the fuck? was an accident. That she said someone. I, it was an accident. I accidentally shot both the little boys in their heads. Like, bro, that don't make no type of sense. Given her a gun, but said she would never have done something like this unless someone, quote, manipulated her and that she was in, quote, such a bad spot. Detectives said Lucas made statements that she was being manipulated through Facebook, through the internet, or through Wi Fi. But what the fuck does that got to do with you killing your kids? Lucas was arrested. She was manipulated you into using the gun that you had to kill. Like, what? Even if the gun, like, I don't, I don't know. Charged with murder. She's been in jail ever since on a $2 million bond. In fact, in fact, when this first happened and we were piecing together the shooting and we didn't have all the details, I had the opportunity to interview from the Bullitt County Sheriff's Office, Chief Deputy Colonel Alex Payne. And I always go back to this and I'm always reminded about this because listen to what he had to say. There were statements evidently that were made there on scene. Uh, as to our recollection right now, um, this, you know, the individual that uh, is responsible basically went next door to a neighbor's house and uh, was eventually, there was a husband and a wife there and uh, she was actually in their driveway, laying down in their driveway when they came across her. Uh, the husband ended up doing what? Just trying to play off some shit like, um, I'm so hurt about, like, I don't know what was well, going going on. Inside. Uh, the house locating the boys and immediately coming out and calling 911 and that's when the uh, police and uh, EMS response uh, occurred. I can tell you this the boys were shot in an area that would not be survivable for anybody. That shit is sad bro for real. However they were alive uh, to the best of our knowledge when they were transported by EMS to the hospital uh, and uh, and passed away while at the hospital. As far as yeah. our responsibility, and you know this, you know, from law enforcement, we're responsible actually for the criminal investigation itself. And uh, and then being the best witnesses that we can possibly be for the information that we put forward. They got this shaky the ass. So, they got this shaky ass camera. But no, for real, I do think that, I do think she should get more than just what she's getting. Talk about she should not get a plea deal. The bitch should get the fucking death penalty, all that. Like, this is little kids, bro. Talking about nobody could have su survived the shots that they, you know what I'm saying, that she did to them. Uh, motive sometimes can be a byproduct, but, uh, you know, I, I can tell you now in my 
40 plus years of being in this line of work, uh, there are three things that I've seen, and it can be these things individually, or it can be these things uh, in combination. You can have a individual who is suffering from some type of mental illness. You can have an individual who has some type of substance abuse problem, or that individual can simply be just that evil, or it can be a combination of those things. And that's what I said. Uh, I said I the, seen the any, drugs. Any other outliers other than those three? And so, uh, right now, I guess it's you know anybody's guess as to what uh, which one of those she covers. And uh, and right now, we're trying to gather everything that we possibly can that we have knowledge of the to put together uh, as part of our investigation to present to the uh, Commonwealth. So two weeks ago, Lucas was back in court for a quick hearing, and we learned that there could be a plea deal on the table. Now, to be clear, there's nothing official yet. But during a hearing on Monday, a motion for mediation She's a meth head, bro. Filed. That's that all. She's a fucking tweaker, bro. The prosecution bro. and the defense will come together, usually to try to hammer out a deal. It's voluntary, by the way. And the prosecutor told local media outlets that this will give each side the chance to see where this case stands and decide if this is a case that can be put to bed now or if a trial is necessary. Commonwealth's attorney Bailey Taylor said, if all parties are not on board or we reach a roadblock that we can't get past, it's not a binding mediation, we can call it quits at any time. And remember, Taylor previously said that Lucas was, quote, looking at, of course, as a capital offense, possibly the death penalty. There you go, there you go. Yeah. Seeking the death penalty at this time. However, news of this, this possible deal, did not make some family members very happy. To fuck give you an the, idea of well, this, let's go back to December. Never mind, they ain't doing that. Spoke here on Sidebar, well, Michelle fuck their opinions on the situation because they wasn't in her shoes. And we asked her about if they did what she did, they get the same what treatment. What they would like fuck. to see happen in this case. They were the sweetest little boys. Um, they were so polite. They were happy. They both, um, they did both love playing the video games and stuff like that. Little Reese, he loved, we called him Little Reese. Um, um, he loved playing soccer and loved playing outside and riding his bike That's and sad, stuff bro. like that. Well, young, well, the young man. They were just, they were great little boys. Like, mm -hmm. I don't understand how someone, like, just even knowing them could do something like that. A lot of people see the social media side of her, and that's just the so social media side. It's not really how she was, you know, off the camera, mm -hmm. you know, versus how, like, People will show you a whole other side of them, you know what I mean? Really Especially over social media. You don't know somebody in person, bro. They were taken away. She obviously, she tested positive for drugs. what I say? And she got them back, I guess. So that's what it is, you drugs. Know, she's off She's off the drugs. She killed her kids the off the drugs, bro. Of course, and she worked the system, and she got them back, and then there was no follow-up, which I don't understand either. Um, because if they, they would have, then I'm sure they... Would have found something. Damn. Um, Y'all look at her necklace, bro. She even got a uh, the same little boy she's talking about. She got a Reese chain on right now. They say Reese right on her neck. Their their living conditions inside the house were crazy. I never would have thought that it looked like that, honestly. Um, but it looked horrible. It looked really bad. We. We want the look at her, bro. That's, yeah, that's what we want. She deserves dirty ass, die. bitch. Like, definitely. And some of those family members have been in court every time Lucas has appeared before the judge. And they told local media outlets after Monday's hearing that they're very unhappy that a deal could be on the table. It's been reported that they could she do not need one, bro. Taylor outside of the court. That, yeah, that's not happening. She they want her sentenced to death. They're not going for it. I don't the think they're going for it. Parole. Maurice Baker Jr.'s aunt, Bobby Brown, reportedly told Taylor, if you don't want to try it, let somebody else do it, Bailey, for real, because she deserves everything she, she gets. Yes, yeah, she Back do. To Michelle Rice, she reportedly said, mediation isn't really an option on our side from his family. We mediation, we want her to get exactly what she deserves, and we would rather the death penalty <laughs> and life without parole. Now, let's analyze this for a moment. So a mediation date has not been set as of yet, but that could take several months. And you might be saying, why would prosecutors agree to a deal here? 
Well, as we've seen in cases all across this country, not only are trials time-consuming, expensive, especially, by the way, death penalty cases, because there are two phases of that trial. There's the guilt phase. Yeah, they like to, I was just, uh, you feel me, going through it to one of my people, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy, you feel me? Like, they do like to, because it is so expensive and shit, bro, they like to get people to plead faster, and you see what I'm saying, get, get through the whole case as fast as they can. So they can get you to plea, even on like a, bring it down a little bit real quick and get you to plea for something else and you still get hella years or whatever. They'll try to bring it down on whatever just because it costs money to go through trial and keep going and taking the case on and on and on, you know what I mean? Because most people, the average average Joe don't got enough money to be like, all right, bet, we're going, you know what I'm saying? But this is a mainstream case. She's getting money just off that, you know what I mean? And then there's the penalty phase if the defendant is found guilty. But... I would say, in a case like this and other cases generally, one of the most important considerations in determining whether or not you offer a deal Look at her. to an like, accused murderer, look behind her. Look, evil eyes girl, is there is an incredibly emotionally taxing element to that, that these trials are very, very difficult. We are talking about the deaths of two Little innocent. And that's why they should have no remorse, yeah, bro. It would be. That's exactly why they should have no remorse. Is because we're talking about two little innocent boys that didn't do shit. They was not a fucking in there taking drugs with you. They's not a part of no type of situation that you was a part of. You know what I mean? This is why they should not hold back. You know what I mean? Period. If we can save a jury and the boy's family members from having to hear about how these boys were shot, the autopsy photos, the medical examiner testifying, if we can spare everyone the pain of that then that is a major factor in trying to not I feel have a trial. That. I do feel that. Now this doesn't appear to be on its face at least to me to be a case where there's a lack of evidence right where prosecutors want to work <clears> a deal <throat> because they maybe can't prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Lucas did this. No. The evidence at this point appears to be quite strong. Which brings us to the question what would a deal actually look like? Well would it be you agree to plead guilty and exchange? It would let, yo, it would just, it's literally going to be, yeah, like, like what he just said, it's going to be, before I was trying to get it before he did, but it's going to be some simplified shit, like, she won't get life. She'll get, like, you know what I'm saying, 60 years or 50 years, you know what I'm saying, if she says she murdered both of them, being high or some shit or something like that, just drop it down a couple, you know what I'm saying, a life, a life sentence in certain fucking states is, like, 47 years, 50 years, you know what I mean? So, like, it really just depends. Like, they just try to drop it down for you to agree. But most of the time, you still going to spend most of your life in there. Unless they give you parole. I don't think that, I mean, unless that's in her Femi plea deal or whatever, I don't think they'll get that to her, really, honestly, because she don't deserve that shit, really. And that's coming from me. She might got the lawyers. Is taken off the table? That is certainly a possibility. Although, you could also say, why don't we just try her and take the death penalty off the table? Would it be life in prison with the possibility of parole? A move that would be highly controversial given the circumstances of this case. Literally. And can you imagine the backlash from the family? <laughs> and and from you also have else. to ask, would the prosecution sign off on a deal that the family didn't want? Yes, the family doesn't have the final say. This is between the government and the defendant. But the family's considerations, especially in a case like this, you have to imagine, should be <laughs> taken into account. So we will see how this maps out. But this is just another development in what is a truly awful case. Damn. So, y'all, what would y'all do in this if y'all was prosecuting, bro? I, I ain't going to lie, bro. If that was a judge, bro, I'm giving this bitch three life sentences. Not three life sentences, bro. I'm giving this bitch three death penalties. I don't know how that works, but I'm fucking, I'm offering this bitch in so many different ways, a whole nother way that she did the babies. You know what I'm saying? Like, they even gave her a fucking possibility of parole, but that's that. Don't, don't get me started, bro. But I hope y'all liked the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Remember to hit the like button, you feel me? Comment, subscribe. That shit really do help, you feel me? Look at she curse, she curse, and I, 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 and I